Well, hello there, and welcome back to Thomas Frank Explains. In this video, you're gonna learn some advanced multi-column layout tricks in Notion. You're gonna learn how to create nested columns, you're gonna learn how to create columns inside of toggle blocks, template blocks, and even the brand new synced block, which just came out and is currently in limited beta. Uh, by default, creating columns in these ways, nested and inside these special block types, seems impossible. If you grab a block and try to drag it next to a block like you normally would to create multiple columns, it's not gonna work. So a lot of people think you just can't create multi-column layouts inside these special block types. But in fact, you can. It is possible as long as you know the trick to it, and I'm gonna teach you that trick in this video. So buckle up, get your popcorn or whatever you eat while you're watching uh, you know, lengthy software tutorials on YouTube, and let's get into it. All right, so let's start this off by defining what nested columns are. Here I've got a sample page and you can see I've got two main columns. This one right here with all the text and then this picture right here. And if I move this, I can change the sizing of these columns. But underneath this column here, I actually have two nested columns, one for this embedded video and then one for these couple of paragraphs of text. And this looks great and it seems like you should be able to create it very easily, but when you're creating a page like this, like this copy here, if I've got my embedded video and I try to drag it to the side of one of these columns, I can do this and get a third column, but I can't create a nested column. But there is a simple trick that you can use which will allow you to get these nested columns and which will allow you to do other things such as creating columns within toggle blocks, template blocks, and synced blocks. In fact, here in this example page, I have a template block containing a synced block, which contains a toggle block. And inside that toggle block, we have multiple columns. And there's even nested columns with a copy of this. So it's possible to do all of this even combined. And if I click this template button, I'm gonna get myself a synced block with a toggle block containing multiple columns. So what's the trick? Let's go back to our example page and I will show you. It's very, very easy actually. All you do is create a page, call it whatever you want. It doesn't actually have to be called whatever you want. And then you put your content inside that page first. So let's copy this content here, drag into the page, go into the page. And from here we can set up our columns because now we have the ability to drag and drop as we normally would. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna take it to the side of this paragraph here. I might bring this one up as well. And that's the layout I had in the finished version of this example. Now all I have to do is go back and then right click or hit the six block icon here, choose turn into and turn it into something else. If I just wanna do nested columns, then I'm gonna to choose to turn it into a heading or a to-do list, basically something that's not going to nest it under something else. So it's, if we do a heading, the title of that page is going to become the heading, which I can then delete if I want. And what I'm left with is that multi-column layout we had within the page nested under wherever I had the page. So as long as the page is already put underneath an existing column on your parent page, once you turn that into something else that brings all the content from that page to the page that you're on, that you're working on, it's gonna stay multi-column, even if it's nested columns. And the exact same principle applies to toggle blocks, synced blocks, and template blocks. So if I undo here, say I want multiple columns within a toggle block. All I would need to do is choose to turn this into a toggle block. And once I untoggle it, you're gonna see those columns in there. Or I can undo that and I can first create a toggle block. I can drag that page into the toggle block and then I can do the exact same thing I did before, turn it into a heading one. It doesn't have to be a heading one, it just needs to be a type of block where these blocks, the text blocks, the video block, become separated from the title here. So I can go ahead and delete that, and I get my nested toggle block. And with synced blocks, it is basically the exact same thing. In fact, with synced blocks, I can go ahead and turn this into a synced block first, which is just going to wrap the page with a brand new synced block, which you can see with this red outline here. And then I can go ahead and use my turn into trick. And let's just use a to-do list this time. Here you can see I get the page title turned into a to-do, but if I go ahead and delete that, the rest of the content is there. And just to be thorough, let's go back one more time, create ourselves a template block or a template button, drag the page here, turn it into something else, delete that heading and boom, I've got my multi-column layout inside my template block. From there, I can create as many 
of these copies as I want. All multi-column, all nested under this existing column. Now, one thing that you're gonna notice is that if you wanna copy and paste a multi-column layout, once you do so, you're actually gonna lose those columns. So if I paste this content here, you'll see that my multiple column layout has become a single column layout. And this is not a quirk of nested columns, it's a quirk of multi-column layouts in Notion in general. If I copy all of this content and I come down here to paste it, I'm gonna lose it. So this means you sometimes need to plan ahead. And one thing that I often do is if I know I'm creating a multi-column layout that I may wanna use again, I copy the page that I've created before turning the original page into multiple columns. So if I go here, I've got this exact layout that I've created. Another cool thing to know is that if you turn this, let's go ahead and mess this over here. If you turn this into a text block, you actually get this wrapper where all of these blocks are still nested underneath the text block. So I can go ahead and I can move these, I can edit them but they're not really on this page on their own. They're still nested underneath this text block here, which means I can move it around, but I can also duplicate it. So if I wanted to, I could maybe create a toggle, which is just a storage area for this converted text block or maybe the page, and I've got it there. So if I make a mistake while I'm creating this, or if I wanna make a copy later on, I've got it hidden in this toggle and the layout is preserved when I create a duplicate. All right, last thing we're gonna cover here is, as you can see, multi-column inline databases. This is another frustration that a lot of people run into with Notion, which is that when you have an inline database, unlike pretty much any other kind of block, you can't grab this and move it to the side of another database. In fact, you can't move it to the side of anything. If I create a heading here and try to move this to the side of the heading, it also doesn't work, and vice versa. If I wanna move the heading to the side of the inline database, that doesn't work either. So when I first started using Notion, I thought, hey, it's impossible to make a multi-column layout using inline databases. But actually the fix is pretty simple. All you need to do is create a multi-column layout using a different type of block first. So I'm just gonna create one out of headings. And then we can just drag these multi-column databases underneath the other blocks that had formed our multi-column layout. From there, we can easily delete these blocks and our columns remain. So that is pretty much everything I know about advanced multi-column layouts in Notion. You now know how to do multi-column layouts with inline databases, how to do nested columns, how to nest columns inside of toggle blocks, template blocks, uh, synced blocks, and uh, hopefully by using and combining these features, you're going to be able to make your own workspace in your next build even more close to what you had in your imagination before you started building it. So hopefully you found this helpful. As always, you can go over to thomasjfrank.com slash notion to see all of my notion tutorials, uh, thomasjfrank.com slash fundamentals in particular, if you're looking for my beginners series, all about the basics of notion, I'll have that linked in the description down below, along with a link to my templates area, where among other templates, you can get my brand new habit tracker, which was actually the inspiration for this tutorial because I use nested columns inside of a template button in this build. And a lot of people were pretty surprised that you could actually do that. So check those resources out if you're curious. Let me know what your questions are over on Twitter. I'm Tom Frankly there. Uh, feel free to follow me for more Notion tips or leave a question in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.